Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here today on the Dale Pawpaw Gallimore Farm in Floyd County, Virginia with KG. And I'm gonna let KG introduce himself. As he said, I'm KG. I go to Floyd County High School. I'm in ninth grade, and this is my great-grandfather's pond. Frank asked me to help him make a bullfrog video, so here we are. And of course, I wasn't able to catch any bullfrogs on my own. They're very elusive. But today's episode is going to be seven facts you need to know about bullfrogs. Watch this episode and you'll know everything about bullfrogs. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Fact number one. This talks about how to identify a bullfrog. At first glance, bullfrogs and another species of frogs called green frogs look very similar. You'll see they have this beautiful brown, like greenish color, but you also, you'll have to watch out because green frogs also have that. They look very similar. But if you look at their dorsal lateral ridge, it will go up here behind the eye and it drops right there. And on a green frog, it will continue all the way down the side. Their irises are normally a golden or bronzish color, and that's another way you can identify them. So, whenever you flip the bullfrog over, you'll see it has a white belly and white on its upper legs, but the rest of its body is this white brown modeling. I think it's kind of cool that they have that. His front legs are kind of short and stubby, but they've got claws on the end, very tiny ones, and they they don't need them as much for swimming, and so they like kind of like squish up and just kick with these back legs. They're very long, and you can just look at all the muscle that's in their leg. It's they can also they have the power to like skip across the water over short distances, which is really interesting. So as you can see, the rear legs are very strongly webbed, and this is where they get their power from the water. KG, is it easy to catch one? No, <laughs> when it's Once not. they're in the water? When they're in the water, it's unless you know where their spot is, you're probably not going to catch it. Yeah. So here are the, the, the backed web legs, and here are their, their front paws. While bullfrogs and green frogs, when they're smaller, may be the same size, only the bullfrog gets really, really big. And an adult female bullfrog can weigh well over a pound. Fact number two, how to identify a male bullfrog from a female bullfrog. KG, what are some things we look for? So first I'd like to look at their throat. Male bullfrogs tend to have a yellow, or have a yellow um, throat. So on a female, the tympanum is about the same size as their eye. But on a male bullfrog, the tympanum is much larger. So what do we have here, KG? Is this a male or a female? It's a female. It's got the tympanum about the size of the eye. It doesn't have a yellow throat. And this one appears to be swollen, probably laden with eggs. In this area, they'll breed from May to July. So, like many other um, reptiles, the female bullfrog is much larger than the male. So here's a great side-by-side -side comparison of a female bullfrog and a male bullfrog. You can see the female is larger. You can see that the male has a yellow throat. You can see the tympanum on the male is much larger than uh, the eye and on the female, the tympanum is about the same size or even a little smaller. So the female bullfrog doesn't make a call. That is the male's call. Fact number three, how do you recognize the call of a bullfrog? Well, actually, it's pretty easy. The male bullfrog is the only one that calls, and he makes a sound that sounds like jug a rum jug a rum jug a rum so listen to this little section of tape and tell me if you don't think it sounds like a male bull bellowing in the field. Fact number four. 
bullfrogs, like we said, are often confused with green frogs because they look very similar. But the green frog call sounds like a out of tune banjo string being plucked right before it breaks. And here's the sound of the green frog. Fact number four. How far can a bullfrog jump? Well, a bullfrog can jump well over 10 times the length of its body. So KG is going to see if we can demonstrate how the bullfrog jumps. This female is so laden with eggs, I'm not sure if she'll make as big as leaps as some of the other ones have. Bullfrog fact number five. What do they eat? Well, most people think, what do frogs eat? They eat insects. But bullfrogs will literally eat almost anything. From scientific studies of what's in their stomach and observation, bullfrogs will eat other frogs, tadpoles, fish, salamanders, snakes, birds, and even mice. So they'll literally eat almost anything they can catch. They've got the classic tongue of a frog that can reach out and snag with a mucousy end on it, but they've also got big mouth and a little row of tiny little teeth on the edge of that. And they can overpower and simply swallow with that giant mouth a bird, a mouse, a snake, or anything it can swallow. You can hear the bullfrogs, and they'll be out in the fields where the cows are, ironically, but they'll be looking for insects and things, and it's kind of cool to think of them hunting. They're really, really carnivorous and will eat virtually anything. Fact number six, you need to know how many eggs a female bullfrog can lay. And they can lay up to 20,000 eggs. So that's another reason they're so ubiquitous and can take over so many different habitats in addition to their dietary habits. With 20,000 eggs, few of those will survive to adulthood. Many of them are eaten by many, many different organisms. So bullfrogs provide a lot of nutritious diet to many different organisms in the food web. Fact number seven, bullfrogs are native to the eastern part of the United States. However, they've become invasive in many other parts of the United States where they simply don't belong. And where they've taken hold, they have pushed out and sometimes eliminated other native frog species. Especially in the southern parts of the United States, frog legs are almost a delicacy. And they have a very tender white meat on their legs and they've been compared to tender chicken drumsticks. For this reason, they're introduced into the Pacific Northwest in the 20s and 30s as a food source. They've since escaped from any kind of cultivation and are a great danger to native species that they're competing with. They are actually invasive in other parts of the world as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door. And I hope you learned a lot of new things about bullfrogs and that you look to come back for more. I'm hoping me and KG get to do some more episodes together. I hear that there's a big copperhead down here, and I'd love to get some photos of that big old snake. So uh, remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door with Frank Taylor and KG in Floyd County, Virginia. Um, I walked around the perimeter of the pond several times 
and I would have a flashlight and I would see their eyes in it and so when I got close enough to them I'd turn off the flashlight and just hope I knew where they were. There were a lot of frogs sitting right on the edge. Some of them were on like like plant growth in the water but it was relatively easy to catch them since it was like 10.30 last night so that worked pretty well.